Today I want to talk about web search, and it's been a very interesting time to be interested in web search because the web itself has changed dramatically over these past several years. During the IE Block community lecture at the 2014 SIAM annual meeting, Seth Kamvar explained how the massive growth of social data on the web has created new opportunities in search, data mining, and social computing. As tools like blogs came into place, it democratized the ability to publish on the web. And so you started to see people authoring more, and as a consequence, they'd author more biographical and communicative things rather than informational things. And now I think what you're seeing is you're seeing that it's become even easier not just to publish but to connect directly and, and to publish in small ways. And so you see the web as a conversational medium and as, a, as an application medium rather than just a publication medium. To illustrate how the web has become a massive archive of human communication, Camvar demonstrated We Feel Fine, an interactive visualization of human emotion driven by data culled from millions of blog entries from all over the world. It started because we were looking at blogs and were just struck by the personalness and the honesty of a lot of blogs. It felt like reading diaries and we just wanted to do something about it. We wanted to do something that showed that. And so there was real no interest in doing something that was used for something. It was more to give people a sense of connection and empathy and self-awareness. We ended up launching an API alongside it, and that API has been used for a lot of things, from computational social sciences to, um, to art installations and so on. In addition to the application programming interface, or API, that allows others to explore the human emotions collected by We Feel Fine, Camvar also discussed the algorithms behind personalized search. If you decrease the barriers to information access, you'll empower more people, and, and that makes for a, a richer, robust, more equal world. And so personalized search, for me, was a step in the, uh, the reducing the barriers to information access. It's surprising how poorly people search in general. And so to be, and, and the truth is because they shouldn't have to learn how to search. Uh, the search engine should figure that out for them. Camvar commented on how the ability of the modern web to connect people is impacting the way that businesses operate in the real world. Software companies are starting to do things that software companies used to not do. Um, the fastest growing hotel company in the world is a software company. The fastest growing transportation companies in the world are software companies. And what they bring to it is the ability to connect people. And so their value add is not a big hierarchical institution, um, but rather the ability to connect micro entrepreneurs with their customers. And so you see a much more decentralized world in room sharing to car sharing. And you'll see this kind of play out in lots of different things from agriculture to uh, public space. And so I think what we're seeing is we're seeing the decentralization of the internet be reflected in the decentralization of the real world. And I think that's very exciting. According to Camvar, the significance of the work being done in the field of search and data mining reflects the important role of applied mathematics and computer science in today's world. The power of math and computer science is incredible and has never been more incredible than right now because we've seen a much bigger population connected with smartphones. We see a decreased cost in the ability to make software, and we see increased power in the things that we carry on us. And those three things make for a very exciting time for computer scientists, and it's important for people who are thinking about it to know that, and not just to go into computer science, but also to understand what's shaping the world around them.